Hey guys, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you are down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of data science videos I make. So today, I'm going to talk about the data. So I just starting uh, a new series in the data and uh, statistics probability. So I, I'll hope I'll be able to give you more aspects of different things on this uh, series. Okay. So first of all, what is the data is all about? So okay, this is the data, right? So data could be anything like it could be a uh, collection uh, collection of observation okay it would be any kind of observation suppose you are purchasing products from amazon okay so suppose you are purchasing product from amazon okay so amazon will have all the information of you like whenever you purchase some product then which product you're purchasing uh, from which place you're purchasing in which time in which date you're purchasing all the information will have the amazon will have so they just save this particular information in their database so that using that information they can predict something in the future so when you are going to need this particular product or anything so in that way this is a collection of observations they have the observations and they are just collecting that so that is called the data for this okay so it could be anything like uh, you're just uh, 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 suppose uh, you will have a smart home right in the smart home you'll have a different different sensors from sensors also you'll have a lot of different different data points okay so if you store those data points then in that case it will be a, a continuous kind of a data and that is also data okay there's also observations over there and you just save those observations so in that case that is also data so so this is all about the data okay right about how how you can just uh, basically differentiate different different data so if i tell you like data could be two different types like one could be the categorical categorical data one could be the numerical data okay one could be the categorical data one could be the numerical data so how you can differentiate the categorical data and numerical data so categorical data could be something like you have a different different cars right so you'll have a uh, different brands of cars like suppose you have a ford car okay ford car you have you'll have a bmw car okay you have uh, you have uh, nissan So these are the different different brand names. So you'll have a different different cars. So these are basically the categories. Okay. So these are basically the categories over there. Okay. And the numerical could be like your sensor data. So in the sensor data, suppose uh suppose it captures the temperature. So temperature could be like uh day wise temperature capturing. So it could be like 30 degree, then 40 degree, then 50 degree then uh, again uh, it's become like 40 degree then 30 degree so in that way uh, you will have the continuous data set over there so in this way uh, you can see that it captures the data so it's a continuous kind of a data <clears throat> okay so this is uh, this is a continuous data okay so data can be in a broader respect data can be only two types categorical data and the numerical data there could be possibility that uh, there is a mixed type of data so it's like combination of category and numerical data sets that is also possible over there okay so this is the possibility and then also one thing i like to tell you suppose um, i'm just removing everything over here then i'm going to tell you suppose there is a data set i tell you this so data set could be something like uh, suppose you have a city name this is the month name and this is the temperature right Okay, city name, month name, and temperature. City name could be suppose 
this is kolkata okay this is kolkata this could be like bangalore okay kolkata then bangalore then uh, delhi okay so i'm just giving three examples over there then the month name could be suppose this is april okay then may then june then it could be temperature like 40 degree 42 degree centigrade it could be like um, 32 degree centigrade it could be like uh, 40 degree centigrade okay so in this way you'll have a data table over here so this is the city names over there and this is the month name okay then uh, what you can do is that through this example you can easily understand in which month and which city could have a different different temperatures right suppose uh, the data sets is huge like there are thousands of thousands of city names month name and temperature so it will be very difficult to understand through the table also in that case what you can do is that you can just plot those data over there suppose like this over here suppose this is the months right uh, months you just put over there chan this is Feb. This is March. This is April. May. In this way, you just put it over there, and over here you just put it like uh, the temperature, right? Over here you just put the temperature. Okay. Then suppose this is thirty degree. This is forty degree. This is fifty degree. This is Sixty degree. In this way, it is there. Then what you can do is that you can plot the temperatures for different different cities. Suppose for this city, this is. Suppose for uh, this city, it could be this. Okay. For uh, another city, it will be more high. So suppose this is the. Um, suppose this is Delhi. Okay, so this is the Kolkata and this is the Bangalore. So, different different city names you can find out, and for in which month, what is the temperature of for those cities? Easily, is in this particular uh, graph or chart, you can easily can understand it easily. So that is the basically the observations you can observe very easily using some charting. So this is all about the data today. I hope you like the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make for data science. I'll see you soon in the new video. Thank you for watching my video. Thanks.